subtle distillation of serendipitous whimsicalities. Welcome, a very warm welcome, to Mr. Richard Stilgo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good Thank you very much. My name is... <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. My name is Henry Irving. <laughs> I want you, if you can, to take yourselves forward in time to 1903. For those of you who haven't got used to these newfangled ideas yet, that is three minutes past seven. <laughs> I, ought, I ought, therefore... I ought therefore to tell you, to tell you the news, since it's just past seven o'clock. For those of you interested in politics, you will have been worried about the goings-on in the Whig party. Well, I have to tell you that after all the argy-bargy, finally, the Whigs have split. <laughs> and a very unpleasant sight it is, too. <laughs> we may have to do away with the Whigs altogether, in fact, and start again with a new centre party. <laughs> I, um... No, I, I ought really to be brave. I might fall off, you see, if I go out there. Well, like all this lot have. <laughs> oh, no, that's what happened. You know, all of these were big stars once, walked out down the catwalk, <laughs> fell in. <laughs> now they all have to sit there pretending to be musicians. No, I all, I all really to... <laughs> I know you lot. <laughs> You're the ones who sit up in the box going, this one's even worse than the bear. <laughs> I, sh I shall be brave. Mr. Auctioneer, how nice to meet you. <laughs> Hope you get a good price for all the acts. <laughs> oh. Is there, is there a Florence Nightingale in the house at all? <laughs> Bless you. you know, one, one, of my, one of my hobbies is anagrams. If you take the name Richard Stilgo, out of it you can get people like Archie Slogdirt. <laughs> <laughs> and you... If you get the word orchestra, do you know what you can make out of orchestra? <laughs> <laughs> yes, cart horse. It's a... <laughs> no, they're very similar, really, you know. In both cases, you need a man with a stick to get them started. <laughs> so, accompanied by the world's largest string quartet, I shall now give you the first and possibly only performance of my new song, The Good Old Days, Mr. Herman Pleaser. <laughs> My grandma used to tell me how when she was a young thing the family would gather round the piano for a sing. There was then a violin solo from grandma's elder brother which they clapped but not too loudly in case she sang another. <laughs> she said it snowed each Christmas and the poems used to rhyme and the buses had conductors and they came one at a time. How happily my grandma used to sigh as she'd look back on the days gone by and lie about the good old days. She called them the good old days, the days which once was black. A golden looking back, isn't it amazing? All the things time can erase are leaving just the good old days. Why do we tell the young that we lived high upon the hog instead of just admitting there was rationing and smog? The stuff I tell my kids about my youth is just as wrong how my side won each game three nil and the beer was twice as strong and the children scoff then grow up and to their own children say things is really awful now compared with my young day course they don't like looking back as much as me nostalgia isn't what it used to be not in the good old days I call them the good old days The days which once was black 
A golden looking back Isn't it amazing All the things time can erase And leaving just the good old days Let's hear it for the good old days They call it the good old days Today we dream a line Tomorrow we'll look fine So when somebody rambles on The golden days of yore Make him put a sock in it Don't let him be a bore We'll hear it anyway Because it all won't be long before These are the good old days And not the past, not the future But now and these are The ultimate in the virility. Ooh.